Welcome to Banjo Kazooie, guys. Right, Lindsay? Right. Yeah, that's right. We got Max and Lindsay here from Game Face, and we're gonna play Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be awesome. This is what your your favorite game of all time. Is that right? Yeah. Hmm. Is Quite it? possibly, yes. Yeah, right at the top there. It's pretty. It's like probably in top three. Nobody, possibly the is, top. I'm is, not. Is, is anybody to competing with it? Do they like, fight for first place? Microsoft! <laughs> Look at Avengers Man. Jesus. Fuck that shit! Like, I want it on Nintendo! <laughs> well, I'll just play a nice tune. He's just trying to, like, forget about the fact that he's in a shitty game eventually. <laughs> he's like, eventually I'll just be making cars. <laughs> like, Driving around cars. <laughs> Desolate wasteland of Banjo <laughs> Kazooie Land. That game could have been good. It, it just feel, felt like an unfinished product. Yeah, it just felt exactly, or Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts just felt like they were starting to make Banjo 3, and then somebody looked at it higher up and they were like, let's turn this into a car building game. And then it was. And it was a de desolate wasteland with nothing to do. It was very disappointing. So yeah, let's play Banjo Kazooie. This is on your file, because on my file I have 100%. 100%! No, I want the bowl of the soup! <laughs> no, I like Game Boy. Fine. Fine. Here we go. Your favorite game, Lynn. One of so, them? I can't choose. Who, who's in com competition for like second and third runners up? I don't Where know. <laughs> you don't know? One of the Tales games is. Which one? I don't know. Vesperia? Symphonia? Please. Exilia? Between. Abyss? No, not Exilia. As much as I loved Exilia. Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? <laughs> well, it's Cordy. Any day, she really takes my breath away. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, we're she not used gonna... to scare me as a kid a bit. She was a little scary. I found her scary. I don't... But I still love the game. She kind of looks like me. I think. Yeah? Yeah, I think we're pretty similar. I dress like that too. Deep pots are like, well, there's this other girl. I've been seeing on the side. <laughs> she stirs me real good. She's tooty, which she likes. Toot, 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 toot. I get it because she plays a flute and the flute goes toot. It's just toot, odd toot, how toot. it just seems like such a generic platformer, kind of, when you think about it, but. It's awesome. How so? Just... I don't know, it's just weird. It's a weird combination of characters. They just threw them into a pot and. They're like, okay, witch and a bear. Oh, I get what you mean, yeah. Like, there's a bear and... Yeah, they're like, oh, what's a good... Mold. What's an animal people like? There's gonna be a like? witch that's bad. Yeah, it's like, oh, witches, that's good, okay. What animal? Bears, okay, cool oh, bear. Oh, fucking bear. <laughs> but it's so good. It is, it's it's just because they nailed the atmosphere and, like, the oh. explorability and everything so perfectly. Yeah, the, the old guys at Rare knew how to do oh, it. Oh, hell yeah, they did. And now they're terrible. <laughs> well, not them, but the company. But... There's supposed to be a spiritual successor to Banjo, isn't there? Like a lot yeah. of the people behind the game who are no longer with Rare are gonna make yeah. one, and they said it will have googly eyes and <laughs> animate objects. Which when they is said all googly eyes, it's like, well, I'm sold. Yeah, it's like these fuckers know what they're talking about. So here we have Banjo sleeping in his bed. There's Kazooie. I heard a cat meow. I heard meow, meow. I wanna play Banjo. Here she goes, oh no! But this game is the one that like... Cats, fucking cats. Um, but this game's the one that like defined your childhood, right? It's like the childhood game of yours. If I had to think, it's one of the top childhood games, yes. <laughs> Look at Tootie. Bottles! <laughs> <laughs> bottles, bottle, I wanna play with your bottles. She's got like those old school pants we used to, or I used to wear as a kid. It's, a it's like, it's like tight spandexy pants and then they have like the loops at the bottom. Is that old school? I... That's what to me it is. <laughs> I mean when I was super young I used to wear those. I was reading that when they were first figuring out that they wanted Banjo to be the main character and he had a backpack, they wanted him to have wings and legs come out of his backpack so that he could fly and run fast. And they were like why don't we just fucking make another character in there? And so that's where Kazooie came from. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I might have been kind of weird. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a backpack that had legs and Maybe like mechanical ones or something. Like a glider, maybe? The gl yeah, maybe. That wouldn't have been as cool, though. I like though. Kazooie. Kazooie's a fucking awesome character. She's hilarious. She is hilarious. I love her. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. I don't have I, any moves. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting that they... 
do that. It's one thing that Rare did right after they went to Microsoft is make this game into HD. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that and making that Perfect Dark in HD is like yeah. the, the only, two things. The only accomplishments they did were games that were already made. <laughs> and then they fucked up on Conquer like, hmm, before. Let's try to make Perfect Dark again. Perfect Dark Zero. <laughs> let's try to do Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie nuts and, nuts and bolts. <laughs> I'm sure some people like nuts and bolts, but as somebody who just saw that it could have been Banjo 3. And remember there was a, um, there was a promotion for like Banjo 3 a while back, remember? I remember a picture. There was a little video t teaser. Oh, was And it, it showed like it all HD in the background and shit and it looked awesome. And then it turned into nuts and And then it turned into nuts <laughs> If I don't, I don't ever want to play a car game really, so unless it's like Mario Kart <laughs> or something with a twist like Sonic Racers. Yeah. I don't... I don't want to train. Fuck that. Take note of this, every game developer in the world. <laughs> there was the option to go through a painstaking tutorial, and we just said we didn't want to do that. That is the way it always should be. Yes. Oh my god. A lot god. of games don't get it. Yeah. Nintendo, unfortunately, is pretty notorious for that lately. Yeah. What was it we were talking about? The, uh... Dream Team? Yeah, Mario and Luigi Dream Team, and I guess that has some pretty... Oh, I got Bad, like, pacing issues with too many tutorials and way too easy at the start, and then, like, if difficulty ramps up ridiculously for no reason all of a sudden. And googly-eyed carrots! Now we got... Yeah, so we just have our moves carrots. for now, right? Uh, the, the starting moves, yes. Yeah, yeah, the basics. Oh, it's just perfect. It's oh, like, do you game. want to, like, I mean, if some people don't know how to play a game sometimes, so yeah. yeah, okay, have a tutorial, but give us the option to not do it, because it's annoying. Yep. They should literally, literally just have like Banjo's parents come up to him and hold his hand. He's like, do you want me to hold your hand, Banjo? He's like, fuck, don't hold my hand. And then you can just go on, on your own. Oh, uh, everything. Oh, rare. You if you like so hand good. holding, then you can cuddle right up to your mommy and yeah. she'll tell you all about how to do the talent rod, although we don't have the talent rod. No, you learn those, but they're really quick. Yeah, yeah. And they're like kind of collectibles because you have to find them yourself. Exactly. So you're pretty good at this game, I'd say. Like, I'd say I'm. You know what? I you're shouldn't doing. say because I'll probably like fuck up Royal, but I know what I'm doing most of the time. Yeah. Except for like. You know where to go and what to do. Maybe the Some last the two levels, levels. Maybe I. Click clock woods and. I have a general idea of where everything is, but. Is Rusty Bucket Bay the second last? Click clock woods second the last. last. Yeah. Because yeah. cool. I I didn't get to those as much as a kid, but. I remember the first time I played this game. The first like five or six levels, I'm good. The first time I played this game, it wasn't long after I got my 64, I don't think. And Ryan, you guys know Ryan, uh, he was babysitting me at the time. And when he came over, he's like, you guys ever play Banjo-Kazooie? He's like, I don't know what the hell that is. And we popped it in. And it was awesome. And oh, I bought I it. Know. I don't know that yet. <laughs> you don't know what yet? I just tried to do like the, the kind of ground pound thing. And then I was just like, <laughs> why isn't it working? Yeah, I know my way around this. This game, I think, was like the epitome of exploration. Come here, cauliflower. Oh, and geez. cauliflower. <laughs> the epitome of cauliflower in video games. This game nailed hovering magical cauliflower with Just eyes. something about rare games. They all seem the same, but awesome. They do. They all have they the have same distinct feel. feel. And like the levels kind of have the same look Grumpy to them. Grumpy-ass boulders. Get them. <laughs> For the record, we will be playing Conquer on here as well. Too bad they don't, you know, bring Conquer out like this. Oh my god, if they did with the multiplayer mode intact, I would lose my shit. Well, I haven't played the remake of Conquer, so I, I can't really say anything. Have you played all of it? <laughs> Not the whole way through, but I've played like a, maybe half of it. Mm. And my complaint with it is that I find, in my opinion, I don't think any, everyone would agree with me, but that? I think the updated graphics kind of take away some of the, the charm. Like, I look at the Scarecrow and Greg the Grim Reaper and stuff, and I don't see the lovable characters I used to see when I was a kid. Scarecrow got kind of weird. So they Greg. gave him, like, gloves and shit. Greg just looks like a generic Grim uh, Reaper. I think I have a The Great Bunny Pooh isn't quite as... He looks drier. <laughs> <laughs> he looks wet. <laughs> it's a disappointing it's like, poo. I was like, man, that's just not wet enough for me. It's like, if I took that poo, I'd be like, oh, man. But when I took that original poo, I just like, sang all day about it. It was, okay. a, it was a good poo. <laughs> it was a huge supply of fish from my chocolate starfish. How about some scotch? It's amazing it how like that kind of game brought out such a crazy, awesome song. It was like super opera-y. Yep. Amazing. Oh, uh, man. I have a tough time choosing between Conquer and Banjo. Oh, I don't. I love them but both. I didn't. I played a little bit of Conquer as a kid because my cousin I had it. I played the fuck out of Conquer. And I'm pretty sure... My cousin's parents didn't know what they were getting into when they bought him it. <laughs> I'm like, 
How could how could parents go so wrong? It says right on the fucking package. <laughs> Idiots. When I was a kid, I was like the marketing team for Rare for Conquer. I just anyone I met, I was like, "Have you played <laughs> Conquer before?" And they're like, "No." And I'd like pull the cartridge out of my pocket. And... Every <laughs> all the birthday parties I went to where you were there, you were like, "Hey, let's, let's, <laughs> let's you just play put on the Conquer. Great Mighty Pooh." <laughs> I'd play like four or five specific sections. I'd do the the poo and the. Ooga I Booga that, Boss sorry. with the boobs and shit. And I, I'm sorry. I the skipped. Matrix scene. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> Although, don't skip them all. I know, I didn't mean to. I kind of yeah. was like, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. But. Well, what was. Tell us what happened. There's well, Tootie and Tootie Gruntilda. Tootie was in a machine and she was going to switch the beauty. So, Gruntilda was going to get hot and then Tootie <laughs> not. <laughs> oh, did we miss the hot knot? No, that's only if you get game over it happens. Oh, okay, yeah. As long but, as we didn't miss the hot knot. And then Klungo is like, we have to power up the machine, so it'll take a while. And he probably rhymed about it. Oh, probably. Not all that's the That's kind of disappointing. We'll probably never see that, because you'll never get game over. Uh, I used to be scared of game overs. I didn't like Yeah, you always turn the game off before it happened. Not, I'm, I've come to accept it now. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I didn't like it. It was too sad. <laughs> it was like, oh, shit. They're just telling me that. Game over. Okay, I don't want to hear it's this. It's really not the end of the world. You should get over it. <laughs> I know. Fill in the missing spaces with it the It just kind of scared me. I was like, oh my god, Tootie turned into a monster. <laughs> yeah, Rare loved those, eh? The, the endings. The, or the like, cutscene endings for different situations. But I hated it because there was a... There was an old... It was like save and quit. Mm -hmm. But really, it, was, it didn't... They saved automatically anyway. Yeah. So it just gave you a game over screen. I'm like, really? <laughs> That was a big trick. And then Banjo, or not Banjo, Donkey Kong had it. They had a save feature, though, so you right. didn't have to end the game. You just shut it off. But, like, if you said quit game, then it gave you the game <laughs> over sequence as well. Yeah. I'm like, come on. Did Donkey Kong have the death-specific endings, or was it just the standard? It was just a stand. No, Conquer, I think, was the only it's one that had death It's just Conquer that had the different ways like, you die you drowned, equals a different cutscene. If you, like, got turned into mush, there's just a bag of, like, your body parts. And if you just died regularly, you became the table You're just the there, tied up, yeah. <laughs> Good time. Oh you got God. a jingo! Those things are so cute. Look at his fucking eyes. They made, they made their eyes, like, super big in this version. Oh, yeah. I guess we never really acknowledge the fact that we're playing the Xbox yeah. HD remake. It just looks nice. There's very few differences. One difference is that some of the textures are updated. Yeah. The other is that if you die or game over, which one is it? That the jiggies... Oh, the Sorry, die. the notes that you collected yeah. are still collected. Which makes it kind of easier, which kind of shitty, but... There's only one level it's okay with, and it's Rusty Bucket Bay, because there's one, the, what is it, the, an the propeller room or the anchor room yeah. or something. You go in, and you can, like, fall, one hit, kill death kind of thing, and yeah, it's not nice, <laughs> especially when you get all the, all the notes except for those ones, and then you die. I would say for the purpose of a Let's Play, it's definitely beneficial, because nobody good. wants to see you die and then collect the same fucking notes over and over again, so. Well, I didn't know we were going for completion, but I mean... It well, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I mean, it's not that hard. Yeah. If anything, I'll just speed up sections that are too slow. You know, the standard game face affair. If I'm like, this is fucking boring, I'll do a little speed up. Okay. So yeah, just play at your own pace, but don't dilly dally. <laughs> Bolly. Bolly. Get it. Murder. Oh my god, the music in this game. I love it. So Lindsay, who do you think is the worst murderer in video game history for like, just unnecessary, savage, why are they doing this? Uh, well, you could go serious with that, you know? Like what? Nathan Well, Gray? like, no, like, uh, I don't know, oh, what's his name? Sweet Tooth or something. I guess. Because that's an obvious choice. But I don't even think I'd person. pick Sweet Tooth. I don't think. Because he's a murderer anyway, so I'm like, why would he do that? But that's kind of an obvious... You're thinking, like, people that are the good guys. Yeah, it's just, like, less obvious. It's like, you're just playing the game la di da di da and you stop Nathan and think Greg's about it. Nathan Greg's probably the worst one, because... Um, Nathan's pretty bad. He just wants to collect treasure in any, like, guard that gets in his way. He's like, they dead. don't even, um... They just have any, to like, feed their family. They don't have any moral dilemmas with it at all. They just, like, oh, he's in my way. <laughs> <laughs> My pick would be Kirby. Kirby is an asshole. Yeah, but some, they all hurt you. Are you serious? Do you see those fucking enemies? They're cutesy <laughs> as fuck. They never look angry except for like maybe two of them. And 
they get hurt when you run into them. Uh, like, yeah, you know how in most video games you die if you run into them? They get hurt, too. Yeah. You can kill them from running into I them. I suppose, and being eaten alive probably isn't yeah. the best thing, as we learned from, like, Attack on skin. Titan. It's not too fun. Not only that, but the enemy in that game, DDD, he just wants, like, to eat, doesn't he? He just wants to eat some cake. He's just a selfish king kind of guy. He's, like, the most passive I thought he just enemy to be... in video game history. I'm pretty sure he just wants to eat Sometimes some Sometimes they team food. up too, don't they? Yeah, maybe. But... Yeah, they, they did in the newer one. Yeah. Okay, oh, wait. Okay. Kirby's an ass, that's my point. Like, Mario's kind of an ass, like, killing turtles and shit, but he's got nothing on Kirby. Yeah. Anywho, yeah, that that's the... God, this game looks nice. Nice and crisp. My favorite part of Nuts and Bolts was, like, at the very start of the game when Bottles was there. Spoiler! I guess, yeah, yeah, spoiler, because in... in Banjo Kazooie 2, Banjo Tooie, Bottles dies. And then when you play Nuts and Bolts, he's back again. And to kind of just make that make sense, he just comes to the screen, he's like, Hey, I'm Bottles. I died in the last game, but I get over that. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, it continues. Right. Also, I found the first part of it pretty funny when they were like super fat. <laughs> it was. It, it had a good opening. It was funny, and then I was like, oh, And then it I got think. boring and repetitive and I'm blank. <laughs> It was a blank slate. That was my big problem with it. Are you gonna... He has a nice sports bra. It's kind of disturbing. He's wearing a shirt and shoes, but no pants. <laughs> I don't like that. That's such a... Everything so does disturbing. that. disturbing. I don't, I don't like understand it. why games and television cartoons decide which part of clothes animals should have. He sounded like the camel there. He did sound like the camel. Well, yeah, I guess they... they on the, the Game Grumps special with Grant Kirkhope on it, they said they had to like, reuse, reuse stuff to, cause there wasn't enough room. Yeah, you just gotta make do. Speed. Which is pretty impressive. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's really cool to think about like all yeah. the just like, oh, we limitations they down. have to work with. Like, up the pitch on this, down the pitch on that. I heard there was a shitload of memory issues too. Like just the scope of the game, it was like too much for it to handle. And they had to do like a lot of crazy shit. I'm surprised to they make didn't sure have to need the. Right. They didn't need the like expansion pack like banjo or like. Uh, fuck! I keep calling it banjo. <laughs> Donkey Kong 64. That's did. true. Very they needed, true. That needed the expansion. So did Majora's Mask. And Perfect Dark. And Perfect. Dark. I think Perfect Dark was optional though. Maybe just for multiplayer. Not sure. Mm. What else needed it? Did Star Fox didn't need it, did it? No, that was like no, one of the earliest like games. A, <laughs> earlier games. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Conquer like... doesn't need it either, does it? I don't know. If I'm right about that, that's crazy. Because Conquer is didn't... beautiful on the system. Hold the right. Oh, oh, we're getting Talent Rot. My favorite oh move. Oh my god, I can't live without Talent Rot. Talent Rot is I the shit. It. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I'm. I, it's a little late, so <laughs> I'm allowed to be on a little bit. <laughs> We've been like contemplating playing this game all night. It's like, should we play it? No, it's too late. Yeah, you're right. But I really well, every time it. I said, well, I'm good either way, you go, oh, you don't want to want, you don't want I'm good either way always means that a girl doesn't want to play something. It's like the secret messages that girls have. Do you hear me complaining? No. Yeah, well, I'm not a typical girl, <laughs> I guess. Secretly in I want to fucking play my God, favorite I game. Just... I hate my favorite game. <laughs> this favorite game sucks. Like, yeah. If you were on like a deserted island or something, and for some magical reason you had like a, you could take video games with you and play. If you could take five, what oh, would it be? Dear God, let's find it on the next episode. <laughs> See you guys later. Didn't you guys know that if you put pudding on ladders, they fuse together? It's pretty <laughs> oh, common knowledge. I just saw that, look, if you don't hold run, you can jump with yeah. it. In a sense, you get pudding all over the ladder. But... <laughs> oh, wait! Whoa! Oh, you killed the ladder! Oh, no! And then it demorphed oh, back into my... regular pudding instead God, of ladder. What is going on? The pudding cups turn everything into pudding. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? You got ladder pudding on your hands. That pudding has la ladder powers bestowed upon it now. Oh my god! This is, can I climb me through it? No, no. of course I can. No, of course. <laughs>